Hi, in this video we are going to practice stoichiometry number of particles problems like in the following example where the given amount is a number of molecules to learn more about other types of stoichiometry problems like moles, mass or volume volume stoichiometry problems you may find useful links in the description below to start solving this exercise we should balance the chemical equation Welcome to Schooler, your online school you may check your understanding by solving the individual questions and good luck to balance this chemical equation we should multiply hydrogen by 2 and water molecules by 2 if you still find it difficult to balance chemical equations you may find a link in the description to show you how to balance chemical equations in this problem the known quantity is a number of particles and the unknown quantity is also a number of particles in such question and all the stoichiometry number of particles problems we use the following procedure we convert the number of particles of the known quantity to moles of known quantity by using Avogadro's number then we convert moles of known quantity to moles of unknown quantity using the mole ratio then moles of unknown quantity to number of particles of unknown quantity using Avogadro's number and by the way keep watching since after finishing this exercise, I'm going to show you all the procedures that you're going to follow while solving stoichiometry problems. We start with the given which is 3.011 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of water. We multiply to the fraction to convert molecules of water to moles of water. We put molecules of water in the denominator and moles of water in the numerator. We put one next to the moles and Avogadro's number next to the molecules 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. Then we multiply with another fraction to convert moles of water to moles of oxygen using the mole ratio. The coefficients we get them from the balanced chemical equation. We put two next to the water molecules and one next to oxygen molecules. Then we convert moles of oxygen molecules to number of particles of oxygen molecules. We put moles of oxygen in the denominator and molecules of oxygen in the numerator. One next to moles and Avogadro's number next to molecules 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 we cancel all the matching units between numerators and denominators we multiply all numerators together then we divide by the denominators and we get the answer 1.5055 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of oxygen Let me summarize for you all the procedures that we are going to follow while solving stoichiometry problems. The simplest and the easiest is to convert the moles of the known quantity to moles of the unknown quantity using the mole ratio. And this can be done by multiplying with a fraction with the moles of the known quantity in the denominator and the moles of the unknown quantity in the numerator. And the coefficients we get them from the balanced chemical equation. But if the given quantity was mass, then we have to convert mass known to moles known using the periodic table and then convert to moles of the unknown quantity and if the given quantity was volume then the procedure is going to be followed we have to convert volume known to mass known using the density then from mass known to moles known using the periodic table and then from moles known to moles unknown using the mole ratio and finally, we have just learned that if the given quantity was number of particles, then we have to convert number of particles the known quantity to moles of the known quantity using Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23, and then convert from moles of the known quantity to moles of the unknown quantity using the mole ratio. And the same procedure is going to be followed with the unknown quantity. If you want to calculate the mass of the unknown quantity, you have to convert moles of the unknown to mass of the unknown using the periodic table. If you want to calculate the volume of the unknown quantity, you have to convert moles of the unknown to mass of the unknown first using the periodic table, then from mass to volume using the density. If the amount to be calculated is number of particles, then you have to convert moles of the unknown to number of particles unknown using Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. Now let's have one more stoichiometry number of particles problem before you have the chance to practice your understanding by solving the end of video question. Here we have 
how many grams of potassium chloride are produced when 1.5055 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of oxygen are formed. As you noticed, here the known quantity is number of particles, while the unknown quantity is mass. And before we do anything, we should balance the chemical equation. We should balance it by multiplying potassium chloride by 2, potassium chloride by 2, and then oxygen by 3. Now the equation is balanced, then the procedure is going to be as follows. We convert the number of particles of the known quantity to moles of the known quantity using Avogadro's number. Then we convert moles of the known quantity to moles of the unknown quantity using the Mohr ratio. And finally, we convert the moles of the unknown quantity to mass of the unknown quantity using the periodic table. We start with the given, which is 1.5055 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of oxygen. We multiply it with a fraction. We put molecules of oxygen in the denominator and moles of oxygen in the numerator. One next to moles and next to molecules, we put 6.022 times 10 to the power 23, which is Avogadro's number. Then we convert moles of oxygen to moles of potassium chloride, putting moles of oxygen in the denominator and moles of potassium chloride in the numerator. The coefficients we get them from the balanced chemical equation, 3 next to moles of oxygen and 2 next to moles of potassium chloride. Then we convert the moles of potassium chloride to mass of potassium chloride by multiplying it with a fraction, putting moles in the denominator and grams in the numerator. We put 1 next to moles and next to grams we get the molar mass of potassium chloride from the periodic table. As we can see, the molar mass of potassium to the nearest tenth is 39.1 and the molar mass of chlorine to the nearest tenth is 35.5 so the total mass of potassium chloride is going to be 74.6 so we write 74.6 next to grams of potassium chloride we cancel similar units between numerators and denominators we multiply all numerators together then we divide them with the denominators to get the answer 12.4 grams of potassium chloride and now you are ready to solve the end of video questions. If you are not, repeat the video again. Otherwise, solve the questions. Put your answer in the comments section. If you have any question that I didn't cover in the video, please share it with me in the comments section. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos. See you in other videos and good luck.